I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're going to learn something today. The reason you're watching this video is because you are going to set up your quadcopter. You click on the Modes tab, and you see this. I'm going to tell you why this is happening and how to fix it. The reason this is happening is because your quadcopter shipped with a pre-release version of Betaflight 400 on it. In fact, if we go to this, now it's locked up. I got to disconnect and connect. And if we go to the CLI and type version, we're going to see that this is January 11th, 2019. See, Betaflight 400 didn't come out in January. This is and and this pre-release version is just not compatible with the configurator. So here is the fix. First of all, let's make a note. This is Omnibus F4. Let's just type BL for bootloader. When we see DFU up here, then we can flash. The fix is to flash Betaflight. Well, now at the time of this uh, release, Betaflight 402 is the latest. But wait, back up. There's something very important that I need to do first. I need to go to the CLI and type diff all. And that will give me my full configuration dump. And then I need to save that to a file. And in fact, I've already done that. That is how you're going to keep from losing your configuration when you do this. So now I'm going to type BL for bootloader. I see DFU up here. If you do not see DFU up here, you need to download and run the Impulse RC driver fixer app. Google search Impulse RC driver fixer. Or I'll put a link down in the video description. But I see DFU here. We're going to flash the firmware. It's Omnibus F4. And we're going to flash version 402 to the flight controller. So if you have an Eachine trash can, or in this case, it's the um, it's the Emacs Buzz, these quads out here that are shipping with a pre-release version of Betaflight 4, and then it's not compatible with the configurator. Why did they ship it with a pre-release version? I guess they wanted to ship it with the latest and greatest, but you shouldn't ship a production product with a pre-release nightly build because then this kind of issue happens. I should also say, while we're sitting here watching this flash, then I'll show you how to restore your config. Thank you to YouTuber, curry kitten curry like the indian food kitten like the small cat curry kitten made a video showing this exact issue weeks ago and that's why i haven't made one because i just refer people to his video uh, but i ran it i was setting up this quad to test and i ran into the issue and i thought well okay as long as i'm gonna have to fix it i may as well make a video so thank you curry kitten and that's you know, credit where credit's due okay so i'm going to connect i will open up i will open up that file Right click, select all, right click, copy. And I will right click, paste that stuff in and hit enter. And that'll restore my configuration back the way it was. At this point, you should be good to go. And now when we connect and go to the modes tab, ah, there's all our modes, yay. That's gonna do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Happy flying.